Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Welcome. Ahí está. Bye. No sé qué, no sé qué le pasa. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. One moment, guys. Okay, guys. So, good morning. Vamos a ver si me sirve la cámara. Ahí está. Good morning and thank you very much for joining today. Right? And, bueno, hoy creo que sí ya tenemos nuestro, nuestro link eh, sin ningún problema. De hecho, no les aparecía al principio, ¿verdad? Eh, no les aparecía al principio los... No les aparecía al principio la parte de, de eh, el, el ID y la contraseña, el código para pasar, pero creo que ella Gisela nos hizo el favor de agregarlo y ella actualizó la, la información, ¿verdad? Así de que hoy sí ya vamos a estar eh, con ese link que está en la descripción. Ese es el único que vamos a estar utilizando, ¿de acuerdo? Así que let's go ahead and begin and we're going to practice a little bit of um, would like, okay? I'm going to share my screen with you. And remember that uh, with would like, we are talking about offering and about invitations, right? That's, that's like the main thing related to would like. So let's go ahead and begin. So here we have a conversation, guys. Yesterday you were practicing with some conversations. And today what we're going to do is that we're going to um, try to organize, you know, those ideas. Give me one second. Apagamos <clears throat> micrófono, Glenda. Perdón, teacher. Uh -huh. Chicos, me ayudan, por favor, con sus compañeros en el chat. Porque yo, o sea, sí. si no, ajá, y yo ya les había dicho, ¿se acuerdan? Que les había dicho que desde ayer Gisela les actualizó, el, les actualizó la, la descripción y que desde hoy ese era el que íbamos a empezar a usar.
Thank you, Flor. Bye. Let's go ahead and begin. Okay. What do you think is the first phrase that we need? The answer is yes, please. I would like some ice cream. Would you like, would you would you like some ice cream? cream? Okay. Would you like some ice cream? Right. Very good. What about the what second about one? The he would like some, some water. water. Would you like? Uh, what would you like to drink? You'd like to drink. What would you like to drink? Okay. The next one. I like a sandwich, please. What would you like for dinner? What would you like for dinner? What would you like? Just what would you like? Okay. Yes. They like some rice and beans for dinner. What would you like? What would they what would like? What you like for dinner? What would you like for dinner? Okay. And yes, please, I would like some soda. Would you like some, some soda? soda? Exactly, right. So we're going to submit the answers. Y a su pregunta, Leila, lamentablemente, pues a veces hay cosas que suceden, ¿verdad? Que no están dentro de nuestras manos ni de las manos de Gisela. Y hay, hay aplicaciones que dan error, ¿verdad? Entonces, lamentablemente, ¿verdad? Eh, lo que estaba pasando es que con los otros links que se habían generado, estaban dando un error en lo que es el, el archivo que se baja. ¿Verdad? Entiendo, ¿verdad? Que, que, que sea de incomodidad no solo para ustedes, sino para mí también. Porque a veces, bueno, la, la, la otra vez a mí me tocó, pues, reponer media hora más el día de ayer, como ustedes también, ¿verdad? No me habría gustado porque, como todos, todos tenemos cosas que hacer, igual yo también, ¿verdad? Entonces, si se cambió el link es porque lamentablemente estaba dando un error al generar los reportes y creo que ustedes fueron testigos de eso. No sé si se acuerdan que algunos de ustedes eh, hicieron el reclamo que no les aparecían los minutos que ustedes habían conectado. Entonces, si nosotros seguíamos usando un link inservible, eh, eso al final a la larga les iba a afectar a ustedes, ¿verdad? Pero creo que hacer un reclamo, ¿verdad? ¿Qué, ¿Por qué lo cambiamos? Pues... Creo que la, la razón principal por cambiar un link es para no afectarles a ustedes y no afectarles la conexión de minutos de ustedes. Porque lo más importante es que se genere el, el informe correcto para que se les agreguen todos los minutos que les corresponde, ni más ni menos, ¿verdad? Tanto ustedes como yo hemos sido afectados por el cambio de link, pero gracias a Dios, ¿verdad? Ya, sea, ya se pudo este regular eso, ya se probó el link y baja los reportes correctamente. Como les digo, no están en mis manos ni en las manos de Gisela, es la aplicación que a veces falla, como cualquier cosa que tenga que ver con tecnología. Es súper genial, pero a veces también sucede de que tiene errores, ¿verdad? Así de que esa es la razón, ¿verdad? Por la que se les había cambiado el link y también pues la el, el, ella lo que no había agregado era la ID de la reunión, pero yo ayer les dije, chicos, si se recuerdan, yo creo que sí se recuerdan, ¿verdad? Que les dije que de aquí en adelante. Ya, ya entré. Ana, me apaga el micrófono, por favor. Gracias. Entonces les decía que este la que la, la en este caso la, 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 el, el link iba a estar ahí y que de ese día en adelante, o sea, desde ayer en adelante íbamos a usar ese. Ella nada más lo que hizo es agregarles el, el ID y el, y el código, ¿verdad? Pero cualquier cosa, pues también le pueden preguntar a ella, ¿de acuerdo? De acuerdo, Miss. Gracias. Chicos, me ayudan, please. Flor, me ayuda, por favor, en el chat. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Ok, so let's go ahead and continue, right, with, um, with the next information. I'm going to include here some sentences. And this time what we have to do is that we have to organize them, okay? So it says would like, and pretty much what we have to do is to 
uh, organize a sentence, okay? So what will be the uh, right order for this particular sentence? I would like some grapes. Okay, I'd, okay, like some grapes. So. Perfect, okay? So remember the pronunciation for this part, right? It's I'd like, I'd like. Then what about this one? I would like an orange. orange. Exactly, right? I would like an orange, right? Very good. I, I like some bread. Okay, mm -hmm. I'd like some bread. Very good, guys. Okay. I would like some cake. I would like some cake. Okay. Okay, I would like some cake, right? Thank you. And the next one? I like a banana. Very good. Excellent. Dígame, Irma. Uh, good morning, teacher. Uh, good morning. Fíjese que yo hace poquito me estaba conectando porque me metí al link, pero no me, no me abría la, la página para conectarme. Entonces, no sé si ya tomó la foto. Es que quería estar de oyente porque... Eh, voy a hacer algunas cosas. Vaya, Irma, está bien. Solo que le hago una recomendación. No diga eso durante el video, porque entonces eso queda grabado. Y lamentablemente ah, yo bien. no lo puedo editar. Ajá, cualquier cosa, mejor dígalo en el chat para que así no quede en la grabación. Pero sí, está bien, entiendo. No se preocupe. Bueno, okay. gracias. Bueno. Eh, vaya, chicos. Thank you so much. And now we are going to practice a little bit of a and and some, which is something that you previously study, okay? Uh, with with uh, would like, okay? I'm going to close this one, okay? And let's move move on to the next one. Okay, so remember that whenever we are offering something, right, especially food, because sometimes we offer food, we have to be careful and to use the correct uh, indefinite pronoun. Uh, I don't know if you remember, guys, no sé si se acuerdan, pero en el módulo anterior eh, vimos esto. I'm going to show it to you here. Vimos A and N, right, and some, okay? And we were saying that we use A and N, okay, for a countable nouns, okay? Countable nouns are those things that you can count, okay? For example, I can say one apple, two apples, three apples, four apples, etc. So that's something that I can count. Esto se llaman artículos indefinidos, okay? I would like an apple. Okay, and then we use some with uncountable nouns. Well, uncountable and countable. And countable nouns, okay? So you can use some if you, if it's a countable noun, it's because you don't want to specify. No quiere especificar el número, solo algunos, some. I would like some apples because I want to bake an apple pie. Or you can say, I would like some coffee, right? because it's uncountable. So let's go ahead and put it into practice here, okay? So what do you think? This looks more like pasta or something or curry, I don't know. Okay, very good. Ah. Uh, 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 yeah. A, B, or C? B, 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 okay. Very good. An onion, right? Because it begins with a vowel sound. Mm -hmm. Some, 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 and, and, B, um, B, B, B. B. And, and, and letter B. Okay, letter B. Letter B. Okay. 
A hamburger, right? Some, some, a. Ah, some, some, some. It's plural, right? Yes. A pancake, right? Yes. Some, 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 a, 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 C. C. Okay, some, actually, some, some meat. Meat is uncountable, right? Meat is yes. uncountable. Some, some, maybe. Some. Some fries or French fries or some chips or some chicken, right? Some, 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 some. 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 Let's see. Some shrimps, right? Shrimps. Shrimps. Some. 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 Some, some corn. Some. 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 Some noodles, right? Okay, very good. So that is something related to the usage, right, that we have with would like, okay? Now, guys, eh, what I want you to do, and, and, and this is one of the things you know that in a way uh, affects us a little bit, and that is the fact that eh, sometimes eh, the topic is very short, but there are you know a lot of things that we have to, um, to do, right? So I'm going to share the next one. I'm going to close this one. We're going to dedicate half an hour, okay, to... Uh, to study this one. Vaya, chicos, hoy sí ya tomé la captura. <coughs> Thank you. Solo la voy a guardar. There you go. Bye. Let's go ahead and check. Okay, question number one. What is this? Letter B. Letter B, right? A drawer. So <laughs> this one, guys, what I want you to do is just to practice, okay, some uh, furniture vocabulary, and then you're going to tell me the, the things that you would like to have, las cosas que le gustaría tener, would like, okay? What about here? Letter C. Letter C. Letter C, right? <clears throat> Feel lazy. Letter A. 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 
Vaya, next question. Messi. Letter B. 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 Party. Letter A. 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 A buddy is a friend, right? A buddy mm -hmm. is a friend. Be grounded. Letter A. A. Grounded. Be. Be grounded es cuando nos castigan y nos mandan, ¿verdad? Al cuarto. Mm. Okay. Está ah, bonito el, el juego, teacher. Sí. Para recomendarlo aquí. <risa> sí, eso es en internet. Sí. Créanme que ayer no pude estar en clase, pero ahorita. Letter A. Eight. 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 A mat, right? Okay, a yoga mat or something that helps you to exercise, you know, on the floor, right? Yeah. Let's see. A word draft, right? Okay, so guys, from the things that you saw, okay, I want you to think about your room right now or your, your house, okay? What are the things that you would like to change, okay? Uh, is there anything that you would like to have? For example, in my case, uh, yeah. and it is true, I would like a new mirror, okay? What about you? I would like a new wardrobe. Oh, okay, I would like a new, yes, wardrobe. Ay, no, tengo la una mental. <laughs> wow. It's drove, drove, okay, wardrobe, okay. What else? I would like a new hardware buffet. A new what? New hand wash, bathing. A new sink? Un lava, lava manos? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. A new sink, okay, I would like a new sink. What else? Hand wash. I would like a new sofa. I would, yeah, me too. I would like a new sofa, very good. What else? I, I would like, like a new... A new... Yeah, table. A new table? I mean, a dinner table or coffee table? Coffee table. Ah, okay, coffee table. Coffee table es la mesita de la sala, mm -hmm. la chiquitita. Mm -hmm. Coffee table. Thank you. Flor Virginia? I would like um, a conditioner. Ah, yes. I would like <laughs> a, a, no, an air conditioner. An air conditioner. Yeah, me too. 
Okay, what else? Uh, Diego Antonio. I would like a big bed. Uh huh. Would like a big bed. Very good. Uh, Karina Lisette, please. I would like a new desk. A new desk. Desk. Yes, definitely. If you if you work at home or if you study at home, you need a new desk. Liduvina. Teacher, yo solo tengo una pregunta que Ajá. creo que no va el verbo ir. ¿Por qué? Perdón. El el is el el ar y el is no le no este an y ar y ar no lleva. Eh, no, Liduvina, en este caso, a menos que usted lo necesite, lo va a agregar. Pero recuerde que como acá estamos usando would like, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, podemos usarlo de las dos formas que hablamos, ¿verdad? Dijimos que would like solo tiene dos formas. Y would like, ¿verdad? Lo podemos agregar como un nombre, ¿verdad? O puede decir would like to más un verbo. Si usted necesita el verbo to be, lo puede agregar acá, pero en su forma base, no conjugado, ¿verdad? Un ejemplo sería, I would like to be, I would like to be a doctor. No es cierto, pero bueno, I would like to be a doctor, right? Me gustaría ser un doctor, pero en ningún momento lo vamos a usar conjugado, solo lo vamos a usar eh, como la forma base del verbo. I would like to be a doctor. No sé si contesto su pregunta. Ok, sí, sí, teacher. Vaya, perfecto. Thank you. You're welcome. Vamos a compartir estos ejemplos. Acá. Vaya, chicos. Muy bien. Eh, what else? Eh, Glenda, please. Mm, I would like a chair. A chair, yeah. I would like it. Yeah, me too. I would like a chair too, a new chair. Okay, excellent. Anyone else? Eh, Gabriela? Uh, I would like a new TV. I see, a new TV, right? Okay, a big new TV. Very good. Excellent. So, as you can see, right, we can use also would like to talk about different things, not necessarily only about food, right? Very good. Now, eh, I'm going to use one more of these, right, with would like. Give me one second. We're going to see the difference. I don't know if you remember, guys, that uh, yesterday that we were practicing, um, you found uh, the difference, you know, the, between the usage, of, the usage of would like and like. So let's go ahead and check that part today, okay? And I'm going to put it here. Bye. Let's go ahead and complete this exercise, okay? I need you to pay attention to the different sentences. And we are going to differentiate, right, the usage of would like and like, because uh, we have the two of them, right? Así que I'll give you some minutes, okay, for you to look at the exercise and try to complete it, okay? Look at the exercise and try to complete it. Le voy a compartir el sitio, ¿verdad? Ese sitio. Eh, 
Recuerden que ustedes eh, solo tienen que agregar cualquier tema, ¿verdad? En el, en el buscador. Y el sitio se llama Wood uh, Werewolf. Que es este. Ahí se los dejo. Solo busca el tema, ¿verdad? Y ahí le van a aparecer todas las actividades. My chicos, let's go ahead and check the answers, okay? So it says, excuse me, could you, I mean, could I ask you some questions about your favorite foods? ¿Se acuerdan de ese? Ayer lo vimos. Yes, mm -hmm. of course. Thank you. Do you like fish? Yes, I do. Yes, yes, I, I, do. I love yes, it. I do. Yes, I do. I love it. What desserts do you like? Do you like? Do you like? I I don't like. Don't don't like. like dessert. I don't like. I don't like desserts. I never mm -hmm. eat them. My brother like, likes 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 ice cream. He doesn't like. He doesn't like. He doesn't like. Vegetables or salad, but he loves sweet things. Thank you. Waiter, good afternoon. What would you like? What would you like? Um, I would, would like, please. I would like, like chicken curry. I would like chicken curry. I would like chicken curry. What about the next question? Would you like? Would you like, like brown like and, and rice? Ah, okay. So, yes, I will. Is this one, right? Yes. Would you like any rice? Yes, I would. Yes, I, I would. would. But not white rice. <laughs> I, I would like, like brown rice and green salad, please. Okay, vamos a ver si están correctas. But before we're going Picture. to the description. Picture. Es, eh, en la parte donde dice Good afternoon, what would you like? Nos debería de ser la del signo de interrogación que tiene any rice. Exactly. Okay, that's correct. I'm going to put this one here, this one here, and this one here. Let's go ahead and check now if they are correct. I'm going to take the screenshot and let's submit the answers. Okay. 
Yes, all of them are correct. Ahora sí se acordaron del que vieron ayer. Yes. This yes. exercise you completed yesterday, right? So very good. Okay, guys. Um, when we use a like and would like, we're talking about two different expressions, okay? Because like, a, I'm going to remove all of this from here. Okay, and I'm going to add them here in the chat. Now, what happens with with like and would like? I will put it like this. Let me just close here all of this. Okay, so with like, okay, and would like. Now, would like it's a, a verb that we use to express something that we call likes and dislikes. Sandra, ay, le voy a apagar el micrófono un momento. Ahí está. Eh, likes and dislikes. ¿Qué son likes and dislikes? Las cosas que no nos gustan y las que no nos gustan, right? Para likes and dislikes, we have a list. Tenemos una lista que es eh, like, love, ¿verdad? Y también para lo que no nos gusta, tenemos don't like. Oops, perdón. No, este. Don't like, eh, hate, etc., right? Hate no es el en sí, ¿verdad? El verbo odiar, sino que hate, cuando hablamos de las cosas que nos gustan y no nos gustan, sería un equivalente de, de texto, ¿verdad? I hate, eh, uh, I no sé, smoking, ¿verdad? Uh, el, el cigarrillo o fumar, etc. Right? Entonces, hate es eso, algo que de verdad no le gusta y que le resulta annoying, o sea, que, no le, que le molesta. En cambio, like is to express that, likes and dislikes. I like, I like ice cream, or I like french fries, etc. right? Now, would like is different, because we were saying that would like is to express, okay, um, well, first, to express it, something we like, something we want, okay, algo que queremos. ¿Para qué más lo usamos, dijimos? We use it to um, make invitations, okay? And also we use it for offering, you know, things, okay? Entonces, that is like the main difference between the two of them, okay? Would like is to express something we want, make invitations, and also offering things, right? Or offer things, or offerings, ¿verdad? Que es ofrecer algo. Entonces, eh, that is the difference between, between the two of them. And what else? ¿Qué más? También, chicos, una cosa más es de que ambas, ambas estructuras están trabajando en presente simple. De acuerdo, ambas estructuras están trabajando en presente simple. Así que, whenever you use them, just be careful which is the one that you need. ¿Cuál necesita? Um, am I talking about likes and dislikes or am I talking about uh, something that I want? Or, I mean, I, uh, an invitation I want to make, or am I offering something? So it depends on what we need, okay? Very good. Now let's go ahead and find some mistakes. Ah, de mi momentito, por cierto, I need to check something here with your schedule. Remember that today, hoy sí, ¿verdad? Hoy sí van from 9, I mean, from 8 to 9.30. Al fin, ¿verdad? Regresamos al horario normal. Sí, porque yo sé que a todos nos ha afectado. Vamos a ver. Deme un momentito. Ah, chicos, este, ahorita que la mayoría está, solamente decirles, fíjense que eh, ayer que se bajaron los reportes, todavía hay personas que no agregan su nombre tal cual en el DUI. ¿Verdad? O sea, yo solamente les recomiendo, hágalo, no vaya a ser que se metan a una auditoría y este, no encuentra su nombre completo. Por favor, háganlo porque ayer esto cuesta copiar y pegar y estar buscando el, el, los minutos de la persona, ¿verdad? Así que si no ha agregado su nombre completo, hágalo, no vaya a ser, ¿de acuerdo? Porque ayer sí hubieron bastantes que no ingresaron así. Para eso lo quiero ver algo, chicos, permítanme. Today is the 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th. Twenty-eight, 
by remembered on Thursday. El jueves, chicos, tienen que haber completado el 75% de la plataforma porque ya se van a tomar notas. Así de que no olvide para el, para el jueves tener completada la plataforma en su 75% para que les puedan ingresar las notas. Ok. Tomorrow, el día de mañana, es el último día para el oral quiz. El día de ayer fue el último día para las tareas de los links, ¿verdad? Eh, todos los que entregaron hasta el día de ayer, entonces, ahí se les van a agregar las notas. Solamente eso, chicos. Bueno, vamos ahora aquí a seguir practicando. Ay, no lo veo. Aquí está. So, let's go ahead and check or find mistakes, okay, with the sentences. Vaya, chicos. The sentence is, would your friends like come to my birthday party, right or wrong? Se les fue, chicos. Uh, Mike would like to work not at this company, right or wrong? Right. right. No, right, it was no, wrong. wrong. <laughs> okay, the next one. Would he like a ride? Right. 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 right, 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 right. We wouldn't like to see that movie. Right, 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 right. All right. She would like so not right. to go to the party. Right, right, right. 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 Wrong. Oh. Acuérdese que el wouldn't es el negativo. Would you like to some ice cream? Right, right, right. right. Are you sure? No, no right. <laughs> okay. Vaya, muy rápido. Sí, va bien rápido, va bien rápido. But, uh, let's see. Vaya, solo veamos las, las oraciones, ¿ok? Because actually that's something that, eh, que tienen algunos errores y tienen que fijarse. Vamos a hacerlo de nuevo. Vaya, miren. I like some coffee, please. Wrong. Ron, it's right. 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 Would he like a ride? It's wrong. Right. 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 It's right. Right. Would you like to some ice cream? Wrong. 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 Le hace falta el verbo. My friends and I would like watch the game. Right. Wrong. Wrong. All oh, right. Sorry, me equivoqué yo. Okay, ahí se fue. <laughs> She'd <laughs> like to travel next year. Right. 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 Mike would like to work not at this company. Right. right. No, wrong. No, wrong. <laughs> ¿Por qué? Would en not, ese caso. Would not. Work. Would not, exactly. Would she not. would like not to go to the party. Ahí tampoco. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es que recuerden, junto. chicos que si tenemos negativas, ¿verdad? Nosotros vamos a usar wouldn't, ¿verdad? Or would not, pero no puedo dejar el not en otro lado. Es I would not like coffee or I wouldn't like coffee or to drink coffee. some coffee. Ajá, entonces el wouldn't es el que nosotros vamos a utilizar. Okay, so we're going to continue with, uh, you know, uh, creating conversations. Okay, but this time I'm going to give you a different scenario. Okay, le voy a dar un escenario distinto. Yesterday you created a conversation to offer things. Okay, now uh, I'm going to ask you to work in work in groups of three. Okay. I'm going to type the instructions first. Why chickens? Good. 
Vaya, le voy a poner acá instructions, working uh, groups of three, right? That's the first thing. Second, you're going to create a conversation using the vocabulary studied, ¿verdad? Todo lo que vimos ahorita pueden usarlo. And you're, you're going to include the things that you would like in your house or in your life, okay? What are the things that you would like, okay? What things would you like to have? What are the things you would like to have? And then from there, you're going to create a conversation. Finally, you're going to deliver the conversation to your classmates. Van a presentarla, ¿verdad? Very good. So these are the instructions. Do you have any questions, guys? Preguntas? No, teacher. Bye, I'm going no, to... No, teacher. Bien. Oops. I'm going to leave the instructions in WhatsApp in case you need them. Give me one moment. There we go. Bye. Now I'm going to prepare all the teams. Vamos a quedar unos en parejas y otros en grupos de tres, ¿ok? Por favor, en el chat de WhatsApp me avisan eh, cómo van, si hay alguien que no habla, si hay alguien que este, no les contesta, me avisan para cambiarlos, please. Ingresamos, por favor, a los breakout rooms. Eh, Irma Guadalupe y Verónica me avisan porque Rachel los está esperando. Lo mismo Jessica Guadalupe y Liduvina, ¿verdad? Los está esperando Adriana. Eh, también Sandra, Yamilet, Allison, Diana la está esperando. Susana está dos veces. Ah, pues desconecta uno. Ajá, cabal, cabal, correcto. Liduvina, Sarvia, Verónica, Susana, Irma, Guadalupe, please, me ayudan porque sus compañeros están diciendo que están solos.
Wala po siya. Kaysa kang nasa nasa Tisha, no sé con quién me puso porque no, no me apareció el, el mensajito de unirme.
Welcome back, guys. Solo permítanme, me faltan todavía. Solo tengo días, chicos, permítanme. Me faltan la mitad. I would like a job. Also <coughs> Ahí está. Ahí viene todo. <coughs> Okay, guys, welcome back. Thank you very much for joining the breakout rooms. Just one thing, right? Remember, eh, try to take advantage of that time, okay? Eh, tome ventaja de ese tiempo and practice as much as you can. Because, eh, as I said before, ¿verdad? Como lo he dicho antes, no se trata de que yo solo venga a hablar y hablar, sino que ustedes también deben de ponerlo en práctica, right? Así de que los, yo sé que... Um, En los breakout rooms, ¿verdad? Eh, ustedes pues tratan de poner en práctica lo que saben, ¿verdad? Y se ayudan unos a otros. Así que eh, I always encourage, you know, to practice a lot in the breakout rooms. Vaya, chicos. I would like to listen to your conversations, okay? So, Glenda. Eh, no le Glenda. dije a mi compañera, pero ya vamos a comenzar. Glenda and company, okay? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Uh, vamos a comenzar. Brasilia and Zaira. Hello, okay. Brasilia and Zaira. How are you? Hello, Glenda. Uh, I am fine. I'm fine, too. I have a question. What thing would you like to have in your house? In my case, I would like um, a new desk. And you, Saira? I would like to have a new bathroom. And you, Glenda? Glenda? Well, I would like a new chair. Okay. Uh, what thing would I like, would like to have in your life, uh, Saira? I would like to have a pickup cuatro cuatro. My dream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect. And and you, uh, Glenda, what thing, what thing would you like to have in your life? <clears throat> uh, I would like to travel. And you, Brasilia, what would you like in, in your life? Case, in my case. In my case, I would like a jump. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> thank you very much, guys. Okay, now let's move on with Adriana. Okay, uh, con mi compañera Jessica Portillo. Okay, go ahead. Sí, ya estoy lista. Okay, good morning, Jessica. Can I ask you a question? Good morning, Elizabeth. Yes, you can. What would you like to have at home? I would like a new phone. I would like a new TV. I would like a new car. Um, and you, Elizabeth, what would like? What would you like to to have in your home? I would like a new fridge, and I'd like a big garden and a new sofa. What would you like to have a, have in your life? Um, I would like to complete my studies. I would like to travel. I would like to speak language. Really? Why would you Why would you like to travel? Because would like to travel to many countries in your in your Elizabeth. Uh, in the professional, I would like to finish my oh, university oh, degree oh, and I would like to speak English. Only that. Oh, it's wonderful, Elizabeth. Okay, see you. See you. Goodbye. 
Thank you very much, girls. Okay, good job. You put into practice several structures. Thank you. Okay, Flor Virginia, please. Okay. Um, hi, guys. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thanks. Hello. I am good. Thanks. ¿Quién sigue? <risa> ¿Se me escucha? Miguelina. ¿Me escuchan? Sí, sí. Ok, perdón. <risa> Hello, I am good, thanks. Ok, I'm feel sick in this moment. I have a headache and I, I wish feel better. If you want, would you like me to stay to to the doctor? Uh, no, I wouldn't because I take a pill, but thank you. Tell me, how can I help you? Well, I don't know, but I would like a massage. And I would like to have a car to carry things. The dreams come true is your wording. Okay, we take a nap and drink with that. So dream, guys. Goodbye. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, thank you, Flor Virginia. Uh, Gabriela Alejandra? Hi, Hebel. How are you? How are you, Gabby? How are you at home? It's very well. Yeah? It's and fine. you, how are you? Nice, very nice. Okay, tell me, what about you like to change in your house? I would like to change my kitchen. It is a vital. And you? In my house, I would like to change the fridge because it's very old. All right, a new a new fridge. I I would like to change the the button the bell. Me too. I would you like to go to the shopping with me? Yeah. Uh I go to the shopping. What's what all? Or uh, seven PM? Yeah. It's it's very good. Okay, I would like to buy a new pillow. And you? I I would like uh, a new contact uh, in my bed. And, and I would like a new bed, ergonomic bed. Really? And what uh, things would you like to have in your life? In my life, I would like uh, a, new, a new work. I Why? work is a stress school. It's okay. I would like to have a new house or new car. Ah, okay. In my in my case, uh, I would like a new car. Me too. Well, see you at seven a.m. Okay, see you. Bye, see you. Bye. Thank you very much, uh, girls. Very good. Okay, let's continue with the next person. Well, the next group, I'm sorry, is Alison's group. Alison, Diana. Eh, eh, sí, teacher, solo que apague la cámara porque tengo un poco mal el inter y sí, si sí. Tengo se traba. Don't worry. Uh -huh. no eh, se voy con Sandra. Okay. Okay. Hi, Alison. How are you? Hi Sandra, I am fine. No? Good, I feel excellent. Uh, Alison, what thing would you like to have? Um, in my case, 
For my house, I would like a new wardrobe and a big bag. And I would like an apartment in New York, a car, a new cell phone, a lot of clothes and shoes. And what do you what thing would you like to have for your home? Uh, me, I would like have in my house a new good bathroom, a big kitchen. In my life, a lot of holidays, a lot of money for travel with my family, especially halt. Great, Sandra. Nice to see you. Okay, Alison, it's a possible. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wow, a lot of things, right? Very specific. Thank you very much, girls. Okay. Susana del Carmen, please, and and and, and your group. Hi, teacher. Yo uh, soy Ana Beatriz y Hilma. Okay, perfect. Uh, boy, boy. Hi, Beatriz. Hi, Susana. Beatriz, tiene el micrófono apagado. Hi, Hilma, good morning. Hi, Fana, and you, and you, Susana. Hi, Hilma, I'm fine. Hi, Beatriz. Hi, Susana. Nice to see you again. I want to tell you, I have a new house, and I want you like to a big, big gate to my, my garage, I will, I will like a security camera. Really, it's amazing. I would like to change my living room, uh, my living room, sorry. I would like a new sofa and I would like a new mirror and change the row. What about you, Susana? Oh, I have a piece of land. I would like to build my own house. And I would like to have a beautiful and big garden with a lot of flowers and many trees. I would like to invite me a new house, Susana. Yes, of course. Yes, I would like to like, invite me too. Well, see you soon, ladies. I have to go. Take care. Bye. Bye. That's it. Teacher. Thank you very much. Just don't forget, ¿verdad? Cuando le pedimos a alguien algo es, I would like you oh, to invite no. me, right, to my house. Muy bien. Very good. Thank you. And who's next? ¿Quiénes faltan? Levanten la mano para ir como eh, sacando los que ya, levanten la mano los que ya pasaron, please. Los que ya pasaron. A ver, a ver. Ok, muy bien. Faltan varios chicos. ¿Quién va a seguir? No la bajen. Uh, uh, Paola está hablando, dígame. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> Leila, Leila, okay, okay, perfect. Go ahead. Uh, wait a minute, I have a problem with the internet. Okay, levanten la mano solo los que ya pasaron. Okay. <sighs> nos sacó, nos sacó del internet, teacher. Vaya, si quieren, de los que me hacen falta, porque son varios, ¿verdad? Eh, lo voy a dejar. Dígame. Creo que estamos listos. No, lo que les quería decir es que son bastantes los que faltan y son las I-28. Si quieren, voy a dejar a todo este, este grupo que está aquí. Ahí lo puse en, en, en WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Los que están en la lista son los que no han pasado. Así de que lo que vamos a hacer es de que ellos 
van a pasar el día de mañana. Karina Lisset, Liduvina, Irma Guadalupe, Sarvia, Jocelyn, Diego Antonio, el, eh, Leonel Alexander. Leonel me dejó el nombre incorrecto, es Granados Leiva, Leonel Alexander, ¿verdad? Solo que usted le escribió el nombre primero y después los apellidos. Ok, Eh, teacher, ya lo cambio. ajá, Verónica del Carmen, quiero ver quién más. ¿Sí? Espérame, es que cuando habló, 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 habló Leonel, se me, se me desajustó la lista. Paola, Muy bien. Rachel, Susana, Carlos, eh, Ever, Jonathan, también me dejó el nombre eh, primero y luego Susana el apellido. ya pasó con nosotros, teacher, solo que creo que está escondido. Ah, ok. Hola, Ay. teacher, sí, yo ya pasé, solo que estoy tope. Ay, es cierto, ¿verdad? Este, quiero ver quién más. Eh, Y Leila, ¿verdad? El grupo de Leila. Este, y eh, Ever, Jonathan me arregla el nombre para que no le aparezca así. Desde un principio, ahorita, así va a salir. Pero tal vez si lo hacen ya de, eh, eh, de último, a, logra agarrar el, el nombre con los apellidos al final. ¿De acuerdo? Así de que, vaya chicos, ¿qué vamos a hacer mañana? Mañana es el último eh, día de la unidad, de, la, de esta unidad específicamente. Esta, ¿ve? Vamos a ver. Eh, unit number three, invitations. Entonces, mañana vamos a pasar las, las, las conversations que no pasaron aún, ¿verdad? Y este también vamos a hacer la última, la última práctica, ¿verdad? De, de lo que es el, el, el tema, ¿de acuerdo? Si quieren, pueden ya bajar las manitas. No se preocupen, ya pueden bajar las manos. Todos, todos, todos. Eso. Bye. Quiero ver qué está pasando. Ahí está. Yo creo que sí ya la bajaron todos. Bueno, voy a tomar la captura, chicos, para dejarlos ir. Solo denme un momentito mientras la guardo, ¿ok? Porque son dos. Ya que tengo más acá conectados al otro lado. Bye, chicos. Eh, eso sería todo. Thank you very much for joining today. Okay, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful See you day. tomorrow, teacher. Goodbye, See you guys. tomorrow, teacher. Bye See bye. you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. Bye. Goodbye, Bye bye, teacher. guys. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.